Today I want to talk about a topic that I would say is a big issue in the animal science uh, world and that topic would be is there a difference between animal welfare and animal rights? So I always like to ask what do you think? Is there a difference between animal rights and animal welfare or are they the same thing? The definition of animal rights is people who support animal rights believe that animals are not ours to use for food, clothing, entertainment, experimentation, or any other purpose, and that animals deserve consideration in, of their best interest regardless of whether any human cares for them at all. The bottom line, the goal of animal rights is to abolish animal use. Now, animal welfare is defined by the American Veterinary Medical Association. Animal welfare is a human responsibility that encompasses all aspects of animal well-being, including proper housing, management, disease prevention, disease treatment, responsible care, humane handling, and when necessary, humane euthanasia. So another definition or another description would be that it is morally acceptable to use non-human animals for human purposes, as long as we treat them humanely and do not impose unnecessary suffering on them. So the flip side of animal rights, which said the goal was to abolish animal use, the goal of animal welfare is regulation of animal use. In animal rights, a lot of this has come about, the animal rights perspective has come about by personification of animals, Disney, movies, uh, social media has really had a huge influence on animal rights and the animal rights movement. And then you see lots of a big protests that draw attention to the negative aspects of animal production. Well, what about us as animal scientists? We, we have to have a good answer for that. We have to give a, a good point of view to show that it is okay to use animals for food, clothing, entertainment, research, as long as they're humanely treated, okay? And there are regulations in place for those purposes. One example, here at LSU, I serve on the Animal Care and Use Committee with the LSU Ag Center. Every experiment that is done with our animals all have to go through a thorough review process by an institutional Animal Care and Use Committee, and we have to follow the Animal Welfare Act that was established by the United States uh, government. So we do follow those rules and if something seems out of line or out of place we will contact that researcher and make sure that they know animal welfare is at the utmost priority. Now one of the things that is part of animal welfare are the five freedoms. So the five freedoms from the Farm Welfare Council are animals must have freedom from hunger and thirst by ready access to fresh water and diet to maintain health and vigor. Freedom from discomfort by providing an appropriate environment including shelter and comfortable resting areas. Number three would be freedom from pain, injury, or distress by prevention or rapid diagnosis of disease and treating those diseases. Freedom to express normal behavior by providing sufficient space, proper facilities, and company of the animals on kind. So they would have other animals just like them around them. And number five would be freedom from fear and distress by ensuring conditions and treatment which would avoid mental suffering. There are rules and regulations in place to ensure animal health and safety and well-being by the Animal Welfare Act in place by the government. But, you know, there should be an open mind on both sides. You know, I, I'm not going to say an animal rights activist doesn't have a good point or good points, but they should have an open mind to realize that animal welfare is the other side of the coin. The Animal Welfare Act it takes into consideration what we do properly, but we also, there are instances where animals aren't treated properly and humanely, and you'll hear stories about that on the news. Um, so got to have an open mind, understand both sides. So just keep in mind in the future that animal rights and animal welfare are two different concepts. And I hope that you'll delve into some research and learn a little bit more about both.